guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to talk about a use of the pentatonic scale which might be different from what you might expect so we're going to try to make this scale sound cool yet again we've been talking about that on the channel quite a bit but there are actually many ways you can make the pentatonic scale sound interesting and that's cool because it's a fairly easy scale to learn so here's the idea basically the pentatonic scale is a scale that gets rid of dissonant intervals uh, coming from the major scale uh, let's take D major so the half steps which are between the, the third and the fourth and the seventh and the octave so the pentatonic scale gets rid of those notes that basically as a result gives you a less tense sound I guess just a like it sound it sounds flatter in a way without really any tension so that that could be interesting because that that gives us basically an easy way to play around um, fourth intervals so that's something that we can take advantage and we're gonna also use economy picking to just make our, our life a little bit easier and as you know I'm a, I'm a big fan of economy picking instead of alternate picking I think it's just easier let me show you a few licks What I was using is basically sus shapes, so sus chords, whether sus2 or sus4, they're actually the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. And you have a bunch within the pentatonic scale, you have a bunch of those shapes, so they could be really nice to use. The first step here would be figuring out every possible sus4 and sus2 chord that you have within the pentatonic scale so if we have d again d major or b minor depending how you look at it that's one which would be a, a b sus4 let's actually start let's actually start from b so we have b root note e sus4 and f sharp fifth right this would be second inversion. This one. Um. Right? So these are the inversions uh, for that, that particular sus chord. Now you can move this up a fourth and it's gonna still be contained in, in the same scale so we we have basically e sus4 i'm playing basically the exact same shapes up a fourth so from b to e so we have b sus4 e sus4 and if you change your reference point, uh, we 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 can call these sus2 chords as well. So this is B sus4, B E F sharp, but it, it's also E sus2, E root note, F sharp uh, two and um, B um, fifth. So this could be either b sus4 or e sus2 and this could be the um, same thing a sus2 or e sus4 but i guess this doesn't really matter for the sake of this video we're gonna try to this was just the theory side of it going back to the practical side of this which is probably what is more interesting to you if you use economy picking or even hybrid picking on these shapes you can get some quite interesting sounds, I think. To me, it doesn't really sound like pentatonic scale, you know, it's not like... 
it has a slightly different flavor, even though we're still just using notes from the pentatonic scale. We're just changing the perspective a little bit. It sounds slightly more modern, I guess, to me. Or fusion-y, I guess. Yeah, that's a really cool way to use the pentatonic scale, if you ask me. But again, let's go back to how you, how you can implement this with your current pentatonic scale knowledge. So I'm sure you're familiar with um, the the first, at least the first box shape of the pentatonic scale. If that's the only one you know, good. But be aware that there are many other shapes for the pentatonic scale. And I definitely recommend you check out those shapes as well. You can find them pretty much anywhere on the internet. Just Google them and make sure you're able to play um, every possible pentatonic shape. Across the whole fretboard. So this should be second nature to you. After that, so let's fast forward a little bit. Try to figure out the SAS4 and SAS2 shapes. Again, this is the shape that I was using for the SAS4 with the root note on the G string. If you're familiar with triads, you know, it's basically the minor triad, but you take the third and you substitute it with the, the fourth. That's pretty much it. And again, you can play the root note. So if you're in B minor, like in this case, you can play B SAS4 and then you can also play E, so the fourth up, E SAS4 and they're both contained in the same scale. And the more you, you figure out inversions, the more you're going to be able to see these fourth shapes. across the whole fretboard, so that's the goal, obviously. With that said, we can actually take this a step further by combining two different pentatonic scales together. And I talked about this in another uh, multiple videos, I think, here on the channel, so make sure to check them out. I'll try to link them in the description or in the, in the cards up here. Um, so basically, if you're in B minor, you can use, obviously, the B minor pentatonic scale, but also the F sharp minor pentatonic scale. So the one, the, the pentatonic scale built a fifth up from where you're playing. And that has on its own a very cool sound. So we can basically apply, you know, this SAS4 and SAS2 concept we just talked about, not only to the B minor pentatonic scale, but to the F sharp minor pentatonic scale as well. And that allows us basically to have double the amount of sus chord uh, shapes that we can use. Basically you do the same you do the same in F sharp minor. I mean it's really the same shapes. We just add this one. The F sharp sus4 or the B sus2 depending how you want to look at it. Now we would have the one built a fourth from the F sharp, right? As we said before, but that's actually just again B. From a, from F sharp, you go up a fourth. That's B. So we already have that. So really, the only addition here would be the the F sharp. Basically, the only addition here here would be the F sharp sus four. That sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. You know, I even if you just try to figure out the shapes, and again, this is the main shape that you can kind of move around. So it starts on B, you have E, 
F sharp and repeats the same. You actually even have this one, the A sus4. Obviously a fourth from E. So fourth, uh, uh, fourth intervals basically are all symmetrical, right? So. That's also part of the sound, and um, that to me is very cool. That's one lick that maybe you can start with. We're gonna start from B, and that's all fourths, right? B, E, A. Again, fourths. Which are basically always, you know, on, on, on the same fret since the guitar is tuned in fourths. Yeah, so hope that made sense. Again, it's far more uh, easy than it sounds like. So I encourage you to try it out. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for today's video. As always, let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you in the next lesson. Ciao.